As you look forward to uh, perhaps a Jay Powell um, regime at the Federal Reserve, and by the way, there are going to be several other new members of the Fed, what does Goldman Sachs, what do financial markets need from the Federal Reserve over the next few years? Well, the Federal Reserve has to, um, again, extract us from the extraordinary measures that were taken, which I'm not as, I know, I know some people are quite obsessed about that. I think that that's going to occur, and I don't think that's so dangerous. We also have to prepare for a cycle where rates rise. I mean, for a very long time, interest rates have been very low. And by the way, that hasn't been obnoxious to the economy. Uh, inflation has been very low. But I suppose that money around the world won't continue to be a free good, and it'll be properly allocated. And while it's being, I'm sorry, properly, you know, priced, mm -hmm. so it could be properly allocated. And while that's, uh, and while that's occurring, we have to sort of remove the, that extra stimulus uh, reduce the balance sheet, uh, raise rates, and the big test is going to be to do that in a way that it doesn't shock us into a bad, into a bad position. I mean, this is a little bit like uh, moving a kind of unstable, dangerous chemical, and you want to treat it very, very carefully. We, everybody knows it has to be done. Everybody's doing. Transparency, again, is part of the implementation remedy to make sure everybody knows what's happening so it's projected so there's no sudden quick jerky move uh, with respect to it but it's going to take a deft uh, touch to do this all the while bracing for the fact that there may be some bubbles that pop up in places money has been cheap for a long time maybe it's gone into some places it shouldn't